With this first app, you'll never miss a meeting again. It's called Meeting Bar and it alerts you with a full screen reminder whenever you have a meeting coming up that you can then join with just one click. It lives in your menu bar, it connects to your calendar and you decide what kind of alerts you want to receive. I set it up to alert me 5 minutes before a meeting and then if I somehow miss it, then it gives me a full screen notification that I just can't miss. And there's a ton of customization that you can do to it. You can choose which browser to open different meetings, how many minutes before a meeting you want it to alert you, and there's even an option to join automatically. But I actually keep that unchecked because first I wanna check on myself using the next app, which also lives in the menu bar, called Hand Mirror. But on its own, that's nothing new, right? I can just as easily launch FaceTime or Photo Booth. But there's actually a few things that make this worth it. And the most important one for me is that it also lets me check the mic. So I just open it, mumble a word or two to see if the audio is okay, and then I join the meeting. You can also set different default zoom levels so you can see yourself better, and you can have it automatically display the camera when you hover over the notch. Really useful. Alright, so now I'm going to go over three apps that do a whole lot more than it appears at first glance. And the first one is Dropover, and once you install it, every time you drag a file around for a bit, a pop-up window appears that lets you drop it in there. You can then grab a bunch of other files from different folders and drop them all in there. And then you can easily drop them anywhere you want. But the best part is the instant actions. Because right when you're about to drop your files, if you hover them on the lightning icon, you then unlock a bunch of different actions like sharing them via email, messages or airdrop. And you can even create links to your files using the Dropover Cloud. So when you drop it here, your file gets uploaded to their servers and the link gets copied to your clipboard so that you can share it with someone else. Dropover lets you share files up to 8 gigs, but you can also use your own iCloud storage or something like Google Drive or Dropbox. And this app is free to use with the catch that you have a 3 second wait before being able to drop your files. Otherwise, it's a one-time payment of $6 and I think it's a no-brainer. Alright, so this next app will save you a ton of space without you even realizing it. It's called Clop, it runs in the background and it automatically reduces the file size of videos, images and PDFs on any given folder. By default, it only looks for files that land on the desktop. So if you take a screen recording, the moment you press save, it's going to start optimizing that file and it's going to show you the file savings. And if you right click it, you have more options like downscale or remove audio. And you can compare the optimized version to the original one and you'll see that you can't even notice a difference. In fact, the screen recordings on this video have all been optimized through Clop. And the savings are massive, sometimes the optimized version is only 10% of the original file size. And you can also just drag any file to the bottom right of the screen to start optimizing them. On top of all of this, it also automatically converts different file types if you want. So for me, I have all my video files automatically convert to mp4 and image files to jpeg. And you can customize the crap out of this, it even integrates with shortcuts. For me, the only thing I change is that I also also add downloads to the list of folders to watch so that everything that lands there also gets optimized. This is genius because the only downside to using similar apps is that you had to manually do it, but with Clop it does it for you without you lifting a finger. Clop is free but it comes with a pro version that I think it's well worth the cost and it's also available on Setapp which is one of the few subscriptions that I pay for. And if you're not aware, Setapp is a subscription service where you pay a monthly fee and you get access to a bunch of paid apps like Clop. If you're interested, there's a link in the description that gets you 30 days of free trial instead of 7. Okay, so next up is a new app from one of the most famous developers in the space, Sindresaurus. It's called Supercharge and it packs a ton of small features that together make a big difference. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I will speed through a few of my favorites. The first is that every time you download a DMG file and double click it, it's going to install the app, unmount the DMG file and move it to the trash. And normally when you click on an active app on the dock, nothing happens. But with Supercharge, you can choose to hide the app and even dim the icon once it's hidden. This is great to quickly glance an app like a to-do list. And you know when you're browsing Finder and you have to expand the column because the file name is too long? There's a toggle for that as well that automatically expands the column to fit the file name. And you can toggle on a bunch of functionality borrowed from Windows like cutting and pasting with 
Command X and Command V, move files to the trash with backspace, or even open them with the return key. And I'm just scratching the surface. You can override the quit shortcut so that you always have to press Command Shift Q so that you don't accidentally quit apps. You can add spacers to the dock and so much more. I don't even use a quarter of it and I can still more than justify the $6 that it costs. It really feels like five apps in one. And if you like multi-purpose tools, you're gonna love this laptop sleeve from Moft, who I'm partnering with for today's video. Laptop stands are great, but they're so bulky that I would never even consider bringing one around. But with this carry sleeve, that's no longer an issue. Because on top of being a premium laptop sleeve made out of vegan leather with tons of space for accessories like chargers and SSDs, it's also a laptop stand that you can adjust to a 15 or a 25 degree angle. It takes no time to set up, and because it's part of the sleeve, it's always with me. I just take my laptop out, prop it up, and I'm ready to go. And this pairs really well with their invisible tripod stand, which connects to your phone via MagSafe, and it unfolds with the kind of clever engineering that Moft has come to be known for. It's super quick to set up, and you can tilt it to the exact angle that you want. This is perfect to film B-roll shots, hop on a call, or to just have it on my desk to check my notifications. And it then folds flat and slim when you don't need it. This is the perfect complement to the carry sleeve because when I'm working, both my laptop and my phone are at eye level, which really helps me not to slouch. I think these make a perfect Christmas gift, and Moft is running a sale where you get 15% off when you get two of their products, and if you use my code FS10, you get another 10% on top of that. Head down to the description to grab yours and thank you Moft for sponsoring this video. All right, so this next one also feels like four or five apps in one. It's called CleanShot X and at first glance, it seems like it's no more than a screen capture tool that lets you make pretty looking screenshots, but it's so much more than that. For starters, it can extract text in images. Just press your assigned hotkey, highlight the image where the text is and it'll be copied to your clipboard, ready to paste wherever you want. And by the way, this also works with QR codes. And when you're screen recording, it lets you customize what audio sources to use, and it lets you combine the screen as well as your webcam so that you can show your face on your screen recordings. And my favorite feature is that once you're done with the recording, you can simply press upload to cloud and it will give you a link so you can share that recording with anyone. And if you have a custom domain, you can configure it so that CleanShot X X uses your domain for the link. This is basically what Loom does, but with Loom, if you want to record more than five minutes, you need to pay an insane $15 subscription for it. Whereas this is a reasonable one-time purchase and it's also available on setup. Okay, so there's only two apps you need to keep your Mac running smoothly. The first is App Cleaner, because when you delete an app, if you just drag and drop it into the trash can, there's a good chance that it won't get rid of everything related to that app. But with App Cleaner, you just drag and drop an app into it and it's going to delete every little file connected to that app. And to make things even simpler, you can toggle on Smart Delete. And now you can do exactly what you did before and drag and drop an app into the trash can and App Cleaner will still detect it and ask you if you want to delete every file related to it. It's free, it's useful, it should be on every Mac. And when you have a bunch of apps that aren't from the App Store, you have no easy way of updating them. But there's this free little tool called Latest, which centralizes the updates of all the apps in your Mac, whether you got them in the App Store or, or not, and you can then see what the updates are and update them with a single click. Okay, so usually I'm so into what I'm doing that I end up with strained eyes. And doctors always say that the solution is simple. Every 20 minutes, stop and just look away at a distant point. Well, they might as well start recommending this app, which is aptly called Look Away. This encourages you to take short breaks so that you don't end up staring at the screen for too long without a pause. But what sets it apart is two things. The first is that unlike most apps that do the same thing, Look Away does it peacefully by giving you a heads up with a notification that follows your mouse cursor so that you don't lose your train of thought. And secondly, it knows when you're watching a video or when you're in a meeting and it will not alert you. You can also customize every little thing about it, like how long you want the break to be, whether you want to have long breaks in between regular ones, and so much more. The only problem with this app is that it's a bit pricey at $15 per license. 
but I haven't found anything better than this, so for me it's still worth it as I do spend over 10 hours a day looking at the screen. Okay, so I do have some honorable mentions, but before that I have to mention another app that's crucial to me, which is ReCut. And this is a must-have if you're a content creator, because all you do is you drag a video file into it, and with just a click of a button, ReCut removes all the silent parts and separates each piece of dialogue. And you can then export it as a timeline into any editing app and start working on it. I make a ton of mistakes when I record and this lets me easily hop around between those takes and decide which ones to keep. And on top of that, you can customize exactly how much space you want between takes so you don't have to adjust each one individually. Super useful. Okay, so your Mac has two command keys and by default, they do the exact same thing. But the makers of Clop also made an app called RCMD and with it, you can actually use the right command key to easily launch apps. It's really easy to set up. Just open an app, press the RCMD icon in the menu bar and assign which key you want to open that app. For me, I simply use the first letter of the app itself. So if I want to open ARC, it's A, MAIL is M, etc. And if you trigger an app that isn't opened, it'll open it for you. And these keyboard shortcuts will also not interfere with any other app because you need to use the right command key for this to work. It won't work with the left one. I put this in the honorable mentions because although this is a solid app, there's nothing new here. And you can set this up with Better Touch Tool or Keyboard Maestro, and it's also a bit pricey at $12 for just one function. Okay, so this next one is Pop Clip, and it's really, really good for the right person. So what it does is that it gives you a bunch of options when you select text. By default, it comes with the option to copy, paste, and cut, kind of like the old days. But there's a ton of extensions that you can use which act kind of like an app store for pop clip. And it's endless. If there's anything you want it to do, you can probably find an extension that does it. You can count words, instantly translate, convert units, the list is endless. And it also integrates with a bunch of other apps. As an example, if someone sends you something to do, you can select it and add it to your task manager. Or if it's an event, you can add it straight to your calendar. You can customize it just the way you want it. And if there's apps where you don't want pop clip to trigger, you can add them here or simply hold the command key when you're selecting text. I put this in the honorable mentions because I don't use it myself. I'm too used to using different Alfred workflows for it, but it's still an amazing app that I know a lot of people will love. All right, so I do have one last honorable mention and that that is Alcove, which adds some functionality to the notch, kind of like how we have it on the iPhone. And let me tell you, I've tried every notch app. I've tried Notch Nook, Boring Notch, Dynamic Lake, and so far, this is the best one. So much so, it almost feels native. Unlike the other notch apps, it doesn't just pile on more features for no reason. It doesn't have a calendar, a tray tab, or integration with shortcuts. But what it does have is a truly gorgeous UI. When you adjust your volume or brightness or put on your AirPods, it all feels super native. This app is brand new and so far I really like it, but I'm still putting this as an honorable mention because although it has a lot of things in the pipeline, those things aren't here yet. And as it stands, I'm not sure it's worth the cost for a lot of people, but I am rooting for it because I really like where the developer is going with it. And as a solo creator, there's a ton of apps that are essential to what I do. Like Eagle, which is basically a local Pinterest that lets me organize my B-roll files. And I go over that and all the other ones I use in this video here. So I'll see you there.